Do you have a spot in your house that just feels sort of like wasted space? We had one of those underneath our stairs in our basement. So I took that area, removed all the studs, reframed it, and I'm turning it into a wet bar. So if you're interested in this one, I'm going to show you how we made the cabinetry, the trash can drawer, the paper towel drawer, and then left us a spot for our mini fridge. Well, would you look at that? My favorite part of every project, drywall. After that, built a cabinet out of some three quarter inch plywood and then used some maple for the face frame. Off camera, I built a little toe kick for this cabinet. So it's already installed. Once I got the cabinet put together, went over, installed this, fastened it to the wall and then put the mini fridge in next to it. Up next was the paper towel drawer. Started by getting my measurements and then breaking down my sheet goods for my half inch sides and then my quarter inch for the bottom of the drawer. And if you're wondering, yes, my workshop is my mostly finished basement, so don't judge me. All the DIYers are going to feel me on this next part. Yeah, that's my track saw. Now that we've established that I am no professional, I'm just doing this for fun. Alright, we got our pieces cut. Bye. Bye. Divider, side, side. These are gonna have dados, and then the towel's gonna go here with the face frame on the front of this. Up next was using the router table to make our dados for our sides. Always use a test piece first. Ask me how I know. In addition, you can see me using that block in the back with my left hand. That's just so I can keep that piece square against the fence so I don't end up getting it out of whack. Next up was the rabbits in the end of the boards using the same process. Next up was the test fit, making sure I didn't screw anything up along the way, which tends to happen to me pretty often, but not today. So before you fasten it all together, you wanna to take a round over a bit and round off all your top edges for your drawer because you don't wanna have those sharp plywood lines on the top. Just like that. Well, it doesn't have to be just like that, but you get the point. On to everyone's second favorite thing besides drywall, sanding. Make sure you sand them before you put it together because otherwise you're not getting in some of those spots. To fasten it, I just ran some beads of glue in each of the dados and rabbits and then used my brad nailer to hold it in place, ensuring once I got it all put together that I held it square. Bonus tip. If you're not sure you're gonna hit with the brad nails, use the square, give yourself a line, so you make sure you don't just send your brad nail straight through the side. For the bottom of the drawer, use that quarter inch plywood. I didn't make a groove, it's not gonna be a heavy drawer, so I just fastened it straight to the bottom using some glue and some brad nails. I used the square trick on the bottom because otherwise I would have missed that divider and I just had some brad nails sticking up through the bottom of my drawer. Nobody wants that. Minus the face frame, that drawer is pretty much complete. Although I am still trying to figure out a way to hold the paper towels in that has some type of retention. I could use a dowel, but I want some type of retention so when I pull on the paper towels, I can rip them off without grabbing it with my other hand. I know, pretty bougie of me. Onto the drawer slides, I had to use a spacer on the left side because the face frame doesn't sit flush with the inside. On top of that goes the cabinet drawer slide. Before you start moving on to the right side, go ahead and cut yourself a piece of scrap wood to the exact height that that left side is placed and use that as your guide for your right side. Now that the slides are on the cabinet themselves, head back over to the drawer give myself a straight line and put the cabinet slides onto the drawer. All right, time to test it out, make sure it works. It's in working order. Notice I don't have a face frame yet. That's because I'm doing a book match face frame, which I'll get to here in a bit. The pull out trash can drawer was essentially the same process using some half inch plywood. Use that to make a oddly shaped box and then using a half inch piece of plywood for the top, cut a hole out of the middle for the trash can to sit in. Another way you could build it is just to build a platform for the trash can to sit on. I'm not a big fan of those, they look cheap to me, so this is what I end up going with. 
once I got the box built, I went ahead and test fit it with the drawer slides. Did take me a couple tries because those soft closed drawer slides weren't seated all the way. Then it was on to the top. I had whatever trash can you want. I went ahead and traced it, making sure your hole is smaller than the top of the trash can. Uh, that way it sits in there without going all the way through. So I used my jigsaw, plunge cut it, and then round it over to the edges so there's no sharp lines. Then just using wood glue and some brad nails, fastened it to the top of the box. For the cabinet faces, we built it all as one piece. That way it could be book matched, book matched meaning all the grain would line up throughout the entire cabinet face. Once we got it all glued up, then we would take it over to the table saw, cut it down. The saw kerf would give us our reveal between each of the cabinet doors so they would open. And that's it for this one. Next up, I'll have the counter installed, the sink, faucet, soap dispenser, and the glass rinser. So, see you next time.